everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on today's sports car video. I gotta tell you, uh, this is, we're approaching our 25th year of doing this here. And I never tire of, of these 911 Cabriolets, and I'll tell you why. Because they're really, in the world of sports cars, first off, they're probably the only daily driver exotic that's out there. Uh, secondly, it is our number one husband, wife, spouse, spouse car. The reason why I bring that up is because these are like super easy cars to drive if you just wanna go for a drive. Both parties can use them. Uh, they don't, re they're not like a bright red Ferrari where you're laying down inside and you're in a fishbowl and everybody's staring at you. This is a cool car. You can uh, jump in and go to a gym or you can go out to dinner with another couple. You can put the kids in the back. It's like amazing, amazing car, not to mention fast, handling well, all that good stuff. This one in particular, super low miles. We're gonna look at some of the quality stuff on here. I wanna tell you a couple of the additions that we do here once the cars get here, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's get started. All right, so as we get into this, uh, let's talk about some things that we do here that maybe might be different than other places who can sign cars, right? We own this car, we own these cars here. Uh, millions and millions of dollars worth of cars come through here. And I'm not saying that to brag, I'm saying that because we're investing dollars in these cars to give you a car. For instance, when a place consigns a car many times, they put some spray wax on, wash it, and flip it to you. They're not doing things like, let me just explain to you, a full detail of the car. That means buffing the paint, shampooing the carpets, the headliner, cleaning in out all the buttons around the radio, things like that. That costs a lot of money because it takes all day. Secondly, we ordered new floor mats for the car. You say, well, Tony, who cares about floor mats? Well, floor mats are 400 bucks, right? Uh, a full detail is almost $300. We change the oil on this car and we Maryland inspect it and we do a certification drive going down this list of things to make sure all of these things work, another 500 bucks right so we're already almost you know carry the one fifteen hundred bucks into it we haven't really done anything uh cosmetically right so then we ordered these caps i wanted to point them out because they hadn't arrived yet the car just arrived those caps are on the way they wear out over time and they're the colored crest you can buy the cheapo ones but the colored crest make it look really nice they'll be here on the car when you take delivery of it lastly there's a carrera emblem on the back it's painted body color i think it should be silver you let us know you can have whichever one you want uh and and then we'll uh, put that because it kind of hides it from there. And I think with this call out here, it looks very nice. Last part is, do you want the tag bracket on here? Um, and uh, so we know what to do about that. Some people like it, some people don't. And we'll, uh, whatever you feel like is the right thing. All right, let's get to the quality of the paint. Here we are under these harsh lights and you can see the ceiling in the paint. You can see how clear the letters are. You're kind of seeing all of this stuff in here that says, wow, this car might be a little nicer than some others. Pictures look great, but the video really shows us the quality of what you're getting. All right, so why do I call this a daily driver exotic? For this reason. Most exotic cars really do not have any space in them <clears throat> except for you and the drivetrain, right? Uh, you look at a McLaren, not a lot of luggage space. Matter of fact, they're making a bigger car now so that people can actually use them for that, right? In the case of this car here, we have place for all of the soft luggage, and we took this part apart here just so you could see the original uh, part of it, and I'll show you why I'm saying what I'm saying. Here we put some soft bags in here, okay? It has the spare tires, never been used, right? The little titties are still on the on the tires that's there. This has the, uh, I like to show this off, this has the tool kit, this is the original kit, including, including the gloves, so if you have to change the tire, you don't get your hands dirty, which I really love, all right? And that would get a little cover that goes over all of that. This is an important sticker right here because this has all the options on the car. Right? Why am I saying that? Well, because if this car was in an accident and this hood had been replaced, right, this sticker would be gone because you can't buy the sticker. This is how they build the car at the factory, and that's what they do there. The fact that it's still on there shows you, right, that we have a nice, original, unmolested car that looks great. Lastly, uh, these are, uh, they're light and they won't close on their own, and you don't want to slam them, right? And the way to close it is so you don't get handprints all over the car is put your hand right here and boom. All right, so the back end of these cars, there's no mistaking that this car is a 911, most people. You don't really even need this emblem. This emblem's black. We've ordered a silver one because I think the Carrera call-out is so great in that script. 
A uh, couple things here. This is a speed activated spoiler, so as soon as you get a little bit over 70 miles an hour, this will come up. Porsche's given this a lot of thought because the third brake light is right here, and when this pops up, it would hide the third brake light, so they put one inside uh, the rear spoiler as well. Most people are not gonna spend time working on uh, their cars and things like that back here. Uh, so I show this for you for just one reason only, and that is for a couple things, and that is uh, one reason and a couple things. Uh, I show you this because we have a lot of original stickers and decals back here. If this car had been in a rear end collision, all of these decals and stickers would not be here. You can't buy them again, right? That's a good indication here. This has an upgraded K&N air filter for a little bit more power. Uh, but what my point is, that is how clean it is in here. Somebody's maintained this car over a lot of time and you can't just clean it one time and hope that it comes out great. Somebody's maintained it all the time. All right, so great features about this car that a lot of people do not know about. This is a nice thing. If you want, the windscreen you can get for these goes right in here. It sits here and it folds down so it's out of the way. You don't have to take it in and out of the car if you don't want to. Secondly, uh, here, these can be turned into uh, a luggage, package shelf, or whatever, or people can sit back here. This seat is slid all the way back. I actually can't even reach the pedals if I don't slide the seat forward so real world people can live in there. Here's a couple small great designer things. This right here is hard. You say, well, what's the big deal about that, Tom? Well, what's the big deal about that is this is the front of the convertible top that sits right here. This is, these cars can, depending on the model, be between a 160 and a 200 mile an hour car, right? This right here could buff it. It could be really loud, you know, at high speeds. Porsche fixed that by making this part hard right here, which is great. This right here is rollover protection. What does that mean? Well, these right here, there's a roll bar inside here. If the car would start to tilt like this or that, these right here will pop up, giving you some safety here that a lot of other cars do not have and if uh, it was just something minor like it tilted up on a curb or something like that you can actually turn this knob and these will go right back down inside there all right so let's get inside the cockpit and let's see what it'll be like when you're driving the car yourself all right so you're walking up to your cool car and uh, I say this a lot in many of the videos that we do that that getting something like this involves also disengaging some. And I say, and people say, well, what do you mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is that, is that our lives are so busy. We're running around like maniacs all the time, pedal to the metal, whatever. You gotta get some time for yourself. This is the perfect tool to do that in, right? You're walking up to your cool car, you call whoever it is that you're uh, on the way home, and you shut off that feed, man. You shut off the, the Twitter feed, you shut off the Facebook feed, the boss feed, the feed feed, like all of that stuff and you stream some music to your car, you throw the top down, which takes less than just 20 something seconds, right? And you go for a drive. Man, it is a game changer. So the cool thing about these cars is, one of the one of uh, another reason why people love them so much is, it can be driven in manual mode or automatic mode, right? Let's say some person can't drive a, a, a manual, but you can. Uh, this right here, they just throw it in drive. If you want to, uh, if you want to put it in manual mode, click it right over here, and now you work the, the transmission with the paddle shifters right here, shifting it up and down, holding it in a gear, and doing all those great things. Power top. Uh, climate control, upgraded audio, 8,000 RPM tax stuff right in the center of your face. Porsche doesn't care about the speedometer, they care about the tack, right? That's where they make their power. These were originally race cars. Uh, however, with these here, I like it because you can also uh, set it up so that you can put the uh, speedometer down there at the bottom. So you got the tack and the speedometer right in your face, but it does have a 200 mile an hour speedometer, mechanical speedometer in there as well. Uh, lastly, you have uh, all of the accoutrements of, uh, of every luxury car that's out there from, uh, from the leather seats that are here to uh, the Bose sound sound system that's in here, the nice door sills, um, it goes on and on and on. Uh, but you are getting a luxury sports car and you're not paying, uh, today's Porsche I think starts at right around 110 or 115 for a base car, not a convertible, for a base car. Uh, these are such a great value, you got to figure a way to get one for yourself. Alright, so we close up this video talking about a few things. We're talking about a real world sports car, a car that you can use virtually any time, right? Uh, the fact that many people can drive it, whether they drive a manual or automatic, both parties can enjoy it, right? It's a convertible, but it's also uh, usable in the winter time as well. You put the top up, 
enjoy it on a November, December drive. It's a great piece of machinery. Has all the high performance parts you'd want from the big wheels and tires to big giant brakes that are cross drilled. We missed out on a lot of little stuff. I didn't want to bore you with all that, but you can read a little bit more about it in the ad that we have for the car. Upgrade a couple small things. And lastly, the lesson of what we do to our cars here to give you a little better product than maybe everybody else. Not knocking the other guys. They might do it. Don't know that answer, but you can ask them if they did that. Did they change the oil? Did their service manager manager and the technician test drive the car before they're sending it to you. Does it have a nice set of mats? How are the center caps on the car? What do you think about the rear emblem, right? All that stuff's already been done for you. It's turnkey, ready to go, and that's exactly what I think you deserve. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 911 Cabriolet. And if you don't mind, hit the like button down below there. It helps get our message out. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We got new stuff coming out all the time. And maybe share it with your friends. We got new stuff. They might like that as well. And I'll see you on the next one.